week. Damn! Should have taken care of you at the crevice. <gasps> The forest you're in now is known as Socro Vieno. The name means the most holy woods. It's been venerated since ancient times as the sacred home of the spirits of the forest. It's the largest and deepest forest in the region and is divided into three areas, south, west, and north. Try not to get lost, okay? There's an armory in the southern area. If you need some extra ammo, you might want to pay it a visit. Be careful. I've heard the ocelots are lying in wait for you in the forest. The entrance to the tunnel is in the northeastern part of the northern area. Try to make it there in one piece. Snake, be careful. Aren't the ocelots supposed to be setting an ambush for you in those woods? Yeah. I hear they've got snipers, too. The ocelots are an elite unit handpicked from the ranks of group. You won't find them so easy to deal with. Use your camouflage to avoid being seen. Proceed with caution. Your primary objective is to climb the mountains and rendezvous with Eva. There's no need to face the ocelots in battle. The shaft leading to the mountains is located in the northeast part of the northern area of the woods. Keep an eye out for ambushes and head northeast. Snake, those snipers will be aiming right for your vital spot. They're precise, and you're likely to be seriously wounded if you get hit. Use your camouflage to sneak past them without being seen. Those rifles the Ocelots are using aren't AK-47s, are they? No. They kind of look like AKMs, but they're different. Different how? They've got steel handguards and vertical type foregrips. And the muzzle suppressor is bigger. A carbine version of the AKM, huh? Hungary has a unique modified version of the AKM called the AMD-63. I heard something before about them making a prototype carbine version of that. My guess is they probably imported some of those prototypes. If they're using a carbine version of the AMD-63 like I'm thinking, then they could be a serious threat. Those things handle better than the AK-47s, especially at close range. And don't forget, the ocelots are elites. They're gonna be better shots than normal Spetsnaz, and you're that much more likely to get seriously hurt. Ooh, keep your me. eyes open. That time. If only those hornets hadn't come. <laughs> Oh, 
North area, a strange animal. Cap shaped like a crocodile head, you say? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. You know, animal disguises are one of the oldest tricks in the book in the intelligence world. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I've heard that during World War II, the OSS used to use cow suits. Supposedly, they sent agents out to hide in herds of real cows so they could spy on enemy units as they passed by. Nowadays, I guess most people wouldn't even give a crocodile-shaped cap a second look. They think it was just a gag item. But if you use it the right way, it can be an effective weapon for spying. I gotta hand it to you, Snake. You're one sharp guy. You okay, Snake? It's the enemy! Get it. Huh? Snake, what are you... How does it look? It looks cool. Huh? It looks cool on you. It does? Yeah. Uh, I think cool is the right word. Why? What's wrong with it? What's wrong? Don't you think it looks silly? Doesn't it make you laugh? Aren't you going to ask me what the hell I was thinking? No. Oh. I think it really does look good. It reminds me of the alligator people. Oh, the... The Alligator People. It's a science fiction movie. You've never heard of it? No. Oh, well, you should see it sometime. It's about this guy who gets hurt in a car accident and tries to heal his wounds by injecting himself with a crocodile serum, but then his head turns into a crocodile head. You look just like him with the mask on. That's awesome! Right. Entrance to the shaft leading to the mountains is in the northeast part of the northern area. Take out those ocelots and head for the shaft. Uh, 
answer me. Major, he'll have his revenge. <laughs> There's no need to face the ocelots in battle. Metal gear. <laughs> <laughs> 